Hey guys, it's me, II Voltage Wolf. Tonight we're gonna be playing some more Lovers of Aether. And of course, welcome back to the series of Lovers of Aether. And um, I'm gonna load in the save file. Yep. Yep. Man, I'm wiped. I got none left in the tank. Let me guess. You just flew in, and boy are you are your arms tired. <laughs> That's a great joke. That's a great joke, Zetterburn. For your information, Fire Breath, I was out last night with a little ladybird. You sure it wasn't a ladybug? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on. Mm. <laughs> wow, a slam dunk. Priceless. Eh, you should have seen me, Papa. I was doing some diddy dance moves that would have made you cry. I don't doubt that. Raster is so cool, you guys. He's got so many tricks with his- with the chicks. Illusions, more like. I don't get it. Did anybody study for the test today? There's a- Test? With that, Miss Granny gently raps on the board with her- with her cane. Oh, hello. Alright, class, shut your mouths. Today is your first test of the school year on Aetherian history. These are all basic questions about the world around you. You should have no trouble answering them. Alright. <laughs> I did not know! I did not know! Uh, sh damn. I ha- is this supposed to re is it referencing Rivals of Aether? Uh, help. Alright. Zeddy. Yeah, no problem. No problem, hun. Man, even I know this one, Taikono Merchant. Alright, gotcha. What's the name of the military arm of the Air Nation? Oh, damn. I have a feeling this is supposed to reference um, Rivals of Aether, which I haven't played. All right, 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 all right. Edelus. Edelus. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Well... Man, I don't know jack about anything except high school, brother. Shit. All right. Might as well. Ah, damn it, no. Ah. Uh. Alright, whatever. Why was the rock wall built? Uh, Raster. Raster. Hey. Beats me, Brotato. Probably something to do with some ancient chick. <laughs> Damn. Well, might as well. Hey, I got it. Mm. 
Oh, hey, Absa. Um, here. Don't look grumpy at me, you piece of crap. All right. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Really? Mother- Okay, let's hear it. During this time, Crack found that the artificial strict strictors of class and school had to be foregone. For the only way to alleviate this state of motion was to express it. So during the day, Crack skipped all of his classes and wandered the halls. Something inside Crack was making him feel like he had to explore every inch of this space. Yeah, I'm not narrating this crap, because I have a feeling people got tired of it, about it, but um, alright, go on. Good storyteller. Yeah. Liquid crystal television? Isn't that a, isn't that a television for the shard binders? Ah, uh, get out of here. have to hear your freaking story? <laughs> Looks like I have to hear your freaking story. Damn it. Looks like I have to.
All right, whatever. Oh, hey, Claren. Hey, Taikuno. I'm having some trouble with this one. You wouldn't know the answer, would you? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's the kings with wings. I'm not sure about that, but if you say so... It's definitely right. I double-checked with someone. You cheated? Well, yeah, normally I wouldn't cheat, but... You asked. That's really sweet, Taikono. You're sweeter. But I- but can you beat Maple? <laughs> Where's Maple? Well, Claren. Horseburn paces back and forth, nervously behind Claren, who opens her locker and rifles around for a moment. The nervous hyena takes a step towards her, pauses in trepidation, collects himself, and finally approaches her. Oh, hi, Claren. Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. You're Zetaburn's brother, right? Sideburn? Horseburn. I wanted to talk to you about something really important. Sure, what's up? Uh, I... Uh, so I was thinking maybe... Um, go to the dance with me. Uh... Hey, Claren, do you know what page the math homework is on? Oh, 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 yeah, the math homework. Yeah, of course. Uh, hey, I'll talk to you later, Thornburn. Horseburn. Horseburn drudges off dejectedly, muttering something under his breath. Wow. Uh, you saw that, huh? Yeah, kind of awkward. Sorry. I'm not sure I've ever even spoken to him before. Don't get me wrong, there's something kind of alluring about the whole brooding poet thing, but still... Uh-oh. Competition? Oh crap, the bell's about to ring. See you later, Taikono. We'll laugh about this later. The PA system suddenly cuts in, ushering us to our next destination. Alright, will do. Oh boy, English class. Talk about a snoozer. Nothing puts me to sleep faster than Mr. Kai's droning lectures. I don't think I've made it through one class without dozing off. Huh, that's strange. Looks like he's not here yet. Hey, Eliana, catch! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would- I would feel the same way. Halfway impressed with this hole-in-one, Silvanos gives a goofy grin and shrugs as Orkane blows the hacky sack back. Or at least tries to. The ball lands on Forceburn's desk, who's scribbling furiously over a skit over a notebook. My poem! Hey, which one of you did that? Uh, Orkane. Okay. It was definitely all Kane. You again? Huh. I'm gonna pound the living daylight out of- Raster, cool as a cucumber, steps between the two and raises his feathered arms in the gesture of peace. What's your bag, daddy-o? No need to get un unglued. Let's save the theatrics for after the dance. Wouldn't want to show up with a fresh pair of shiners, huh? Disaster. Averted, Forceburn sighs, slumps back into his chair, and gives Orkane the stink eye before getting back to his writing. Orkane gives Raster 
The closest thing to a thumbs up his paws can manage. It looks like we've got a little time before Mr. Kai so shows up. Maybe I can chat with some people to pass the time? Sure. Uh, Clara. What's up? I see. Hey, Claren, what are you up to? She gives a startled jump and tries to hide whatever it was she was working on. It's not very subtle. Oh, oh hi, Taikono. You kind of surprised me. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not really doing anything. Just going over notes, that's all. It looked a little like you were messing around with something on the wall, but okay. Well, okay. Maybe a little. I was messing with the PA system, just taking a look inside. Why? I guess I'm just interested in technology. Um... Let's see. Um... Can I help? Actually... Claren pauses for a moment to ponder her response. Yeah, you're cool. I think I can tell you. Suddenly, the PA system crackles with static and Principal Luxibant's dying car horn of a voice blares through. Yeah? Crap, this never happened, okay? I'll explain it all later. See ya. Okay. You're okay. I'm going for Sylvanos. Hey. Did you do the reading? Uh, maybe some of it. A little, kinda. No. Oh man, me neither. I mean, I tried. No really, I did. But I was hyped out of my gourd after taking my pre-workout caffeine. I just had to hit the gym. Um... Let's see. Sounds like a good t Um... That sounds like a good time. Man, you're telling me. Nothing gets me amped up for gains faster than some pre-workout directly up the snout. Although it does make my kidneys hurt. So I got to this part where they were riding this magic whale over the rainbow. They're drugs. They're freaking drugs. And then they found this leprechaun who taught them the secret of beast dash jump cancels. Well, I think that's what happened. I mean, I was seeing wild colors and disembodied arms lifting kettlebells, so who knows? Sounds like it was some potent pre-workout you were partaking in. Ooh, man. It was transcendent. Hey, you wanna hook up after school and confab over some Olympic bars? Uh, I think I'm good, thanks. I'm pretty sure I'm making gains just hanging around you. See you later, Sylvanos. Ha, <laughs> catch you later. Offers good if you change your mind. More Zetterberg. Alright, how much time? Alright. We can spend a few more minutes talking to, uh, Zetterburn. I walk over to see what's going on. Hey, Zet, what's going on? You're looking kinda down. Eh, I guess so. Truth be told, it's about the homecoming dance. Really? What's the matter? Well, I guess I'm kind of a popular guy, and I kind of have a few admirers and everything. Maybe a lot. I'm not really trying to hum humble brag here. A couple people have asked me to the dance today, and, well, 
I've had to turn them all down. There's someone I really want to ask to the dance, but I just haven't worked up the courage yet. But rejecting all these people, it's kind of starting to wear on me, you know? I can't take a hundred tackles on the football field, but that look of disappointment when they walk away, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I will. It really stinks. Hurting all their feelings. It's just... I'm really holding out for that special person. Eh, forget it. Hey, Taikono, thanks for coming over here and cheering me up. I'm starting to feel better already. You always know what to say. No problem, Zet. And good luck with that special person. Zetaburn's mane flickers especially brightly for a second. Yeah, and good luck with your homecoming endeavors, too. Oh, hello. Yeah? I'll have to go tomorrow. My... <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. All right, will do. Okay. Yeah. I'll go with that. Um, I'm gonna have to go with This is gonna turn out funny. Yep. That was... <laughs> oh, damn. That, yeah. I got an A, B, you got a B, it's not bitch, it's B, well, um, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here, this was somewhat funny, <laughs> yeah, I just had to, like, I just, <laughs> damn, that was pretty good. Well, um, if you want to see more content like this in the future, like gaming, vlogs, furry-related stuff, consider hitting that like button and subscribe button. Tap or click the bell to get notified of all new videos. And this has been II Voltage Wolf, and I'll see you guys in the next session. Goodbye, pack mates. Please be back, Maple.